Hey, I'm Rocky Lynch. Hey, I'm Ross. And we are playing the super, super, superlative. How do you even say that? Can you say I don't that? even know. Is, is that a word? Should we Google that real quick? With 17, we're the driver era. Yeah. Well, I'm, I sing the most. So whoever's most likely to forget their lyrics on stage is probably me because yeah. I have the most chances of failure. Yeah, I, I try to sing it's as like, less as possible. It's kind of like driving a car. The more you drive a car, the more likely you are to get into a wreck because you just simply have more hours than most people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Same thing. Same the more thing. I sing, the more likely it is that I'm gonna forget a lyric. That's true. Probably me again. Yeah, I think Ross is gonna win on that one as well. Yeah. There's a... The stage, stage, <laughs> stage dive. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, I would definitely be the one. There's a specific guy. moment in Argentina where he did that and yeah. he got eaten a lot, basically. Essentially, it was kind of scary, actually. Probably like one of the more scary moments of my life where, like, it sounds kind of funny, but it's actually like a legitimate yeah. thing where like thousands of people were like trying to get to you. Damn, I'm losing at this challenge. I'm for definitely sure. winning. I'm on the dance floor right. already. Ross would, you know, he would. Most likely hit the dance floor first. But Especially recently. I've been feeling the groove. Yeah, I mean, I will say as the years go on, I've, I've loosened up a little on the dance floor. So I want you to be like 60 years old and just like in the club. Yeah. And at One Oak of all clubs, you know? know? Neither of us, really. I mean, it's weird. There's been moments where like, you'll have a late night where you meet someone kind of special. It's been a second for me. And then, yeah, we're, we're honestly, him and I are kind of constantly searching for like someone that can do that. Someone that somehow can breach your personal like barrier and just make you feel something. But yeah, there's been a couple nights where like, you know, we're, we're having like a late night and you meet someone and you guys kind of have a quick connection. Mm -hmm. um, a couple times where I've been like, yeah, actually, I feel something for this person. But then like two days later, it's, we don't see each other and nothing happens. But. Mm -hmm. I met some pretty cool people and I don't really care. Yeah. If I, honestly though, if I could meet, it sucks, but if I could meet some of the people that have passed, I think that would be more. If Michael Jackson just like came out of the grave, mm -hmm. like straight out of Thriller, just, yeah. I'd be pretty starstruck. Oh man. I'd be like, did I, I you guys just favorite. see that? <laughs> I'd be like, we're taking a selfie right now, for sure, bro. Yeah, that'd be the only time. The only time I ask for I a ask selfie. I ask for selfies. Michael Jackson thrillers it and just like, what's up, bro? <laughs> I'm like, yo, yeah! <laughs> whoa! <laughs> Definitely. Maybe Rocky. Okay, yeah. If it's because you have to get his sense of humor a little bit sometimes. Usually yeah. it's like dry and hilarious. If but sometimes he'll say things that are like almost offensive, and you have to like understand that it's a joke before you get it. Yeah, I'll I'll purposefully say something that is a bad joke. On like I got yeah. one right now. All right, ready? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. All right, it's a knock knock joke. Okay, knock knock. Okay. What? You have to start with it. Okay, knock knock. Right. Who's there? What do I say? <laughs> That's the joke. So we're gonna plug the music right here. Um, mm -hmm. You guys should check out Preacher Man. That's a new single. Uh, but shameless. Who's um most likely to write a song? I feel like we both do that a fair. That's fair amount. That may be. If anything a time. affects us, like I feel like we don't usually write about just random things though. It has to really have like an emotional mm -hmm. effect. Probably our next song that would come out is called Afterglow. So. <laughs> It's uh, it's just another like quick little love story I experienced mm -hmm. that was, you know, yeah. Essentially, like typical. We, we had this all. We went to all an all inclusive resort in Cabo for um, my birthday and New Year's, and it was like maybe one of the best experiences I've had in my life. Yeah, it was a, it was a really good time. It was just so freeing. Yeah, like there was no sort of like restrictions or hesitations towards anything. It was like, we want to do that, so we're going to go do it. And it was really beautiful in that way. Ross? Really? Yeah, because here's the thing. When Ross, okay, he doesn't buy anything. Yeah, when he randomly money, is like, I it's want true. something, then he, he does it kind of, like I remember there's a moment we were moving into his house. 
Mm -hmm. And he was like, I want a TV and an Xbox. And like, we're unloading the truck and he just like dips and goes, buys a TV and Xbox. So he's, in a way, he, but he never buys anything. But if it's like, oh, you know what, I if want I this, then, want he, it, then he all of a sudden yeah. will just like do it. And you're like, if I already have a TV. Easiest to give advice if you're an outside observer. Uh -huh. If you're experiencing it firsthand, then it's then you're yeah. kind of clouded by certain things. I'll, I agree. You've got feelings in a way and things like that. So it's always the outside person sure. that probably has the best advice, especially coming from a brother that has a good sense of like who you are as a person and can kind of sense where you are at emotionally. Because there are times when, actually, most times, relationships can be draining and they can like, they can kind of like dwell well, on someone's energy. You're not, energy. yeah, and especially in like a, a new relationship where everything is, you kind of got that butterfly thing going. That person isn't thinking as clearly as normal. No way. So it's kind of good to go to an outsider and be like, hey, man, like, you know, what, what is, how does this look to you? Mm -hmm. um, especially your brother. Yeah, especially someone that's close. They, you know they have your best interest at heart. Yeah. Which is always good. Yeah. I would say probably you. I think historically, because I've, like, like on Austin and Allie, mm -hmm. like I had a lot of moments where like I was trying to be serious. Totally. And Kaylin would just make me laugh because he's yeah. funny as hell. Yeah. Um, but uh, on music videos, it's kind of okay to do that. Yeah, they want they want those the they videos, want moments. You yeah, know? you just want moments where that you can cut to. Mm -hmm. Just some hot topics. Mm -hmm. That's all music videos. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is good. Cool guys, we're the Driver Era. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope it can help you in yeah. some area of life, some new hopefully. Knowledge. Yeah. yeah. Um, our new song, Preacher Man, is out right now. It's on Alternative, and it's doing really well. I'm really stoked about it. So go check it out. Just Google the Driver Era. There's a lot of stuff coming up. Maybe some secret stuff that you might not expect. That's the goal, right? Yeah. Um, definitely subscribe to 17. We'll see you around. Have a good rest of your day. And thanks for watching.